phonics lesson time. And remember on this assignment, you have two things to do. You need to underline the right pattern and you also need to record how many words you were able to say in one minute. Both of those things count. If you don't do both of those things, you don't master the assignment. So vowel teams is the lesson for uh, today, for this lesson. So vowel teams are what they sound like when we have two vowels that are next to each other. E, A, O, I. It can be Y can function as a vowel, as part of a vowel team. Um, e, I, I, E. There's any combinations of vowels uh, that you can have. So let's just go over some examples. When you get two vowels together, you usually have a long vowel sound. So we have playful, that A is a long vowel sound. Explained, weighing, yesterday. So we have A Y, we have A I, we have E I G H that can sometimes say A. So long E. You can have E-A, you can have I-E. Sometimes you just have an E-M by itself, like rejoice. But in this one, um, rejoice, if you listen to the second vowel sound, or the second syllable of the word joyce, joyce, you can sort of hear the long E sound there. And then seaweed has two long E sounds. So we have E-A, I-E and E, E, sort of, O, I. All right, long I sound, brighter, height, replied, tonight. I'll say that I sound. So I, G, H is kind of a weird one because technically it's not multiple vowels together, but it still is a combination that has that long I sound. E, I can have a long I sound. I, E can have a long I sound, and then another I, G, H. So there's all different ways we can get these, which is what can make English tricky, but it's just good to start recognizing some of these patterns so that when you come across new words, they're easier to read. A long O, growing, regrow, unload. Again, O, W is not technically two vowels, but it still says that long O sound. And then we have O, A. A long U sound, fewer, review, that EW, again, the W is sort of functioning, not exactly like a vowel, but it creates that long U sound. And then I, E, W, says the long U sound. Now there's some other vowel sounds, O, O. A lot of you would try to say that that was, I forget, long or short, but it's just an other sound. That ooh, sooner, balloon. Okay, so it's not long or short. It's just an, uh, another sound. Uh, a row, ow, ow, ow is another one that's that other sound. Two vowels together can say that. Uh, poison. So that's kind of a weird song or sound. Oi. Um, that we can get rejoice. And then through. O U can um, say either ow, like around, or O-U-G-H uh, can say ooh. Not always. As in English, there are usually exceptions, but here are some of the patterns uh, that you'll see in the words. Now, on your words, remember you do need to do the first half. You need to underline the vowel team, okay? Oops, didn't mean to cross it out, sorry. Underline the vowel team. Uh, and then in the first half, the second half is optional. And then at the bottom, time yourself and write down how many words per minute you got. You don't have to do it three times. 
You can do it yourself. Just set a timer, mark how far you got, and then count how many words that was. All right? If you need help reading any of the words, I made a second video reading all of them for you so you can take a look at that. The word, code word for this video is favorite. Favorite. So record that somewhere so you can get it at the end of the week. Good luck practicing your phonics, thinking about how these word patterns work together. Good luck.